I've been living in the neighborhood for almost 60 years, and I've seen the neighborhood at its best and at its worst. There was drug dealing in the vacant lots, and it was just tearing down our neighborhood. And so we wanted to see how we could address these problems. With Ezekiel Gillespie Park, the mayor's homegrown initiative and Walnut Way Conservation Corps came together to transform three vacant lots into a park reflecting the community's strength. Designed specifically for use by community elders, this tranquil urban oasis honors those who paved the way in the Lindsay Heights area. Even the name, Ezekiel Gillespie Park, pays tribute to a prominent African-American civil rights and community leader who lived in Milwaukee during the 1800s. Gillespie Park's construction was led by Walnut Way's own Blue Sky Landscaping, a group employing and training residents from the surrounding neighborhood. It was a lot of hard work. A lot of hot days. Um, it makes me feel special, you know, because um, it helps the neighborhood. I'm gonna have my children, my wife, and kids over there. They're supposed to be putting um, barbecue grills and benches inside the park. Located at 14th Street and Wright, the park has 15 pear and apple trees, as well as over 150 raspberry and serviceberry bushes, not to mention 24 different species of native perennials. Gillespie Park features a rain garden porous pavers that collect rainwater, and a 1,000-gallon underground cistern. The park already is a field trip destination, with children from local schools coming to tour the site's sustainability features and green infrastructure. Walnut Way and its Craftsman's Restoration Guild plan to build permanent seating and other aesthetic upgrades in the spring. Because of the project's success, Homegrown is looking to this Ezekiel Gillespie Park as a model to replicate in vacant lots around the city.